Hey there, cool kids. Miss Sweat here for a cool lesson on probability. What's probability, you ask? Great question. Probability is the likelihood of an event occurring. We use probability in daily life to make decisions when we're not exactly sure what the outcome will be. This is like making decisions about the weather. If it is gray and cloudy, it is likely that rain is on the way. Let me show you other examples of when we use probability. Here are a few of my socks from my sock drawer. If I were to close my eyes and choose a sock at random, which color do you think I am more likely to choose? Black, white, or pink? Well, let's see. You are right, but why? Well, you see I have 10 socks all together. There are seven black pairs of socks, two white pair, and one pink pair. Since there are more black pairs, the chance for choosing a black pair is greater. So if one morning I'm in a rush and I just grab a pair of socks, I will most likely pull out a black pair of socks. Okay, let's look at another example. Look at all these writing utensils I have. I have eight markers, three pens, and two pencils. If I choose one at random, which am I more likely to choose? A pen, a marker, or a pencil? Let's see. You were right again. It's a marker. But how do we know? Because once again, there are more markers. The chances I would choose a marker are 8 out of 13, or 8 thirteenths. So which one do you think is less likely to be chosen? Let's see what happens when I choose again. Another marker. Well, you can see I chose yet another marker. I did not choose a pen or a pencil, so both of those are unlikely to be chosen. The chances to choose a pen are 3 thirteenths and the chances to choose a pencil are 2 thirteenths, both of which are less than 8 thirteenths. But is it impossible for me to choose a pen or a pencil? No, of course not. It's just a smaller chance because there are not as many to choose. If we think about probability using a number line, zero represents an event that is impossible to occur or that has a 0% chance. If you think back to my sock example, it would be impossible for me to choose a pair of yellow socks because there were no yellow socks to be chosen. Next on this number line, an event that could happen but does not have a good chance of happening is what we call unlikely. It is unlikely that you will eat pizza every day for a whole month, but not impossible. It could happen, but the chances are low. And I'm sure after five days, you'd be ready to eat something else. Have you ever heard someone say there's a 50-50 chance of something happening? Has your mom or dad said there's a 50-50 chance that we'll either go to Burger King or Wendy's for dinner? This means there is an equal chance of an event occurring. And so you will either go to Burger King or Wendy's, one or the other. We also see this a lot when flipping a coin because a coin only has two sides. Next on our number line, we have the term likely. We have already seen examples of when an event is likely to happen. Likely means it has a pretty good chance of occurring. It is likely that you are viewing this video on a laptop because I know there are many students who have laptops, but it's not certain. I can't be certain everyone is viewing this on a laptop because students have other devices such as tablets and cell phones to use as well. Certain means that it is a 100% chance an event is going to occur. It is certain that the day after Monday will be Tuesday. Another thing I can be certain about is that you are a pretty smart kiddo for taking the time to watch this short video on probability. I hope you learned a few things today about probability. Take a look around your home and see how you can use probability. Use some of the terms we discussed to describe the likelihood of an event occurring. Thanks, cool kids, for tuning in today with Miss Sweat. 
And it's likely that we'll meet up again. Goodbye.